episode. Ladies and gentlemen, we were not just talking about the finale of The Boys because that would be spoilers. But what we are going to talk about today is StarCraft. You have tuned into Coffee and Co-op, and I'm still Nathan. Uh, the dog is still over there. He d he doesn't want to show up on stream because he says I don't have enough subs to pay him to actually come hang out with me. So that's just, you know, sometimes it'd be like that. Uh, we are pretty deep in on our Stepman shenanigans. Uh, I'm not playing the Mutator because that sounds like hell. Maybe after we beat a mission, we will do it because then we'll have the super broodlord guys. I don't, I don't know. And we'll try that. Uh, we'll try that. If I run away in the middle of this video or there is a giant random jump cut and you're like, what is that, Nathan? It means that the UPS guy is here to pick up the package that uh, I'm next daying over to Katie while she's out of town. We've been avoiding travel and going around places and people, but her sister um, had another child. So she has yet to meet her second nephew, and her first nephew is only like three or four years old now. So she's... Um, She's lost her patience. We put her in a hazmat suit. And thankfully, there was actually nobody sitting anywhere near her on her plane. So she had a nice, good, safe trip up to North Dakota. And she's just there for uh, for about a week. About a week. And then uh, then we'll hopefully I'll get to see her again. Because I, I don't know, man. Women with babies, right? Will she ever want to leave that place without knowing there will be another one? I don't know. That sounds absolutely freaking terrifying to me. So, this map's pretty easy, though, right? This is, like, the best map in StarCraft co-op. Easiest one for sure, if not one of the easiest. This map is probably hardest when you get Mech Terran. If you get, like, Sky Terran on this map, it can get pretty tricky. That's that's about all I'll say. If you get if you get Sky Terran on this map, you're you're feeling pretty bit sour boot life, you know? You, you're, you recognize you're going to have Battlecruisers and Liberators up your wazoo. For the foreseeable future, and not in the fun way, like you might imagine if you uh, had a wonderful date uh, with Nathanius, uh, for example. Um, so, I'll try to take this one nice and safe. I don't know if there's anything funky or funny I could really do with this. Do I just build ultras? I guess we kind of have to see. It's not Zerg as the opponent, so good to know that. You felt sorry for Homelander, even though he's a monster, for sure. Well, you know, uh, all good characters have some level of dynamic uh, attributes, right? All the worst characters are, or like real comic book characters, almost always follow the trope of uh, being irredeemable to a point of fail where they're not really believable as characters anymore, you know? So I think that The Boys, uh, as a TV show, does a really good job of taking characters, making you hate them or making you like them, and then showing you sides of them that make you question yourself. Like, huh, should I support this character? Is this what I believe in? All that type of stuff. And in my opinion, makes uh, it makes characters better. And it's the kind of it's the kind of writing that, you know, we don't really get in a lot of mainstream popular stuff because everyone's like, he's the good guy. He has to be a good guy to a fault forever. The hardest decision he had to make was killing his friend after his friend turned into a zombie and killed his other two friends because he was too scared to do anything about it. Right, and that's like, that's modern TV. But I enjoy, I enjoy when uh, someone makes a case for why I should feel bad for a super psychopath serial killer maniac. When you can make me feel bad for them, you've done a good job as a writer, director, showrunner. I'm not saying that it has to justify or make everything that that character's done uh, fair or rational in any way, shape, or form, but it definitely can have a very positive impact for me to know that the character is real, their motivations are real, their feelings are real. Whether or not I agree or disagree with them isn't as important as being able to just take the time to be like, you know what? This makes sense or this doesn't make sense. That's why, you know, stuff like Game of Thrones was always so hard because you had some characters that they just did not want to actually deal with, right? And then you end up with them just, they kind of disappear into the unknown. Or, uh, you know, they die in some awful, horrible, uncharacteristic way so they don't have to deal with them anymore. Into the unknown! Ah, I love you, Setman. Oh, wait, I get a tag bonus because of... Or is it, right?
spawn more overlords. Spawn more overlords. Yeah, yeah. Minerals don't grow on trees. Oh wait, my extra hatch finished. Yeah, that 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 will give me just about everything else I need. Jerks want to destroy our home. Do not let them. Destroyed. When you give void rays an extra way. Really need a nap. Your mutations Robots don't need to nap, Statman. I will follow your command, Master Ego. You know, sometimes I feel like I just gotta put Statman in his place. I don't know if you guys have ever felt like that. He's kind of crazy. Kind of. Spread stead of lights, do 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 do. Spread stead of lights. Spread stead of lights. All right. You simply can't do that. You simply can't do that. I will do it. Affirmative. Why do they never release an Athenius co-op commander? The world may never know. Knock that train over and raise some hell. Listening. Sometimes you send a drone probe mini SCV to the outpost in the south to see what I'm fighting against. I am way too lazy. Sadly, I don't know anything about any other events. Wish I did. I will follow your command, Master Egon. Getting beers with the boys, with the gang. I know that feel, man. Your swarm's totally jacked. You don't have enough pesking gas. This costs gas, and you need more of it. Your mutation is ready. Let's hope the enemy. Nice. Oh, that black hole was dirty. That was dirty. Dirty vortex. Man, Goliaths are good, huh? Heads up. Another train's in transit. Not enough Vespin gas. Fix that. Of course. Your Zerg has Of course. Clean them up. But I'll never lose my vision now, right? That's another really nice benefit of uh, Statman. There's the Statman FPS coming in. Oh, the camera did freeze again. Nice. Well, thought I fixed it. Nah, it still, it still must be something weird. I don't know. Uh, well, I'm sure it won't happen again when I stop recording, so there's nothing I can do about that for now. Your allies are in battle. The enemy's 
taking fire at your forces. Our foes are headed for us. Be ready to defend. I will follow your command. Only spent my whole night working on it. Oh well. Whatever you need. Some some things you just can't. Some things you just can't know if you're gonna be able to fix them or not. Tragically. What is your command? Your forces are under attack. Bad guys closing in on your arms. Give me more brood lords. Yeah, see these guys are cracked. Okay, never mind. you cannot see prepare yourselves the enemy is inbound on our base yeah, I actually set it up to run off of a I put a PCI card for USB 3 in my computer today as well I've literally tried everything <laughs> just one of those things I guess maybe that maybe it's it's got to just be a graphics driver bug I'm sure, I'm sure the next driver release will probably help fix this. I'm sure of it. Oh, my boy's getting nuked. I actually do need to keep corruptors on the field then, right? If I'm going to deal with the, uh, the battle cruiser portion. Of the enemies. Yeah, these void rays are cracked versus battle cruiser uh, AI armies. Faux oh, show. You got to train to catch commanders. Don't want to Little mecha dudes. Oh, those cluster busters do a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage. I'm trying. The bad guys are coming. I hope he got her. She's at full capacity. It ain't that easy, brother. Oh, I have a lot of lings that just never came over. Oh, it's because they were rebuilt. They were rebuilt zerglings. That's why they didn't come over, Nate, because you didn't even know they were there to be sent back. Let's get him. Get him. Of 
closing in on your army. Hello. The enemy's taking fire at your force. Nuclear launch detected. Your ally base is under attack. Some bad guys closing in on your army. I'm trying I'm like, are there other nukes coming? More brood lords. We'll move to this one next. Don't worry about it. Ah, when the FPS completely goes away. The enemy is en route to our base. Nerezim, ignite your blades. A main objective has been destroyed. The enemy must be crazy to think they can beat my mecha swarm. Last wave, right? It's going to be one final train. You're at maximum supply. Finally free of those blocks. Am I, though? Am I at max supply? Was it worth it? The Narazim are in peril. Oh, I should probably kill the last train, right? That makes sense. Last train home. Sad songs, boys. Sad songs. Just having full vision of this spot forever is pretty fun. I reckon they're running out of hardware to ship. Almost got them, commanders. Did you guys hear they officially signed uh, Tobey Maguire and Alex Garfield for the next MCU Spider-Man movie? That makes me very happy. <laughs> good job. Too busy watching you. Ah. Cheers, bro. He's a good Vorizen teammate. He was a good teammate. And Toby will always be the real Spider-Man. Those of us, uh, those of us from the 1990s. So it will be Spider-Man now. No. It's about the multiverse. Here, check this out. There we did it. We did it. We got the rest of the upgrades for the Corruptor and Battle Carrier Lords. See, now the Mecha Battle Carrier Lord is like freaking awesome. And now, canonically, the Stepmato Cannon is actually better than the Yamato Cannon, if you think about it, which is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. This should be only uh, one more episode, I think, to go. I think one more big win of the day where we do all the objectives should get us where we need to be. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to take a moment to just say thank you guys for hanging out with me. Uh, let me try to fix this camera real quick before we stop the recording. Wah, wah. Hi, you guys are great. You're the best. You're literally the greatest people ever of all time. I will see you guys for the next episode. Boom, boom.